This is Vicki Romain with Cheerful Greetings. And today we're going to put pieces together. I've been asked a lot of questions about myself. So as I um, work on my card, I'll reveal some of my hidden facts. And um, hopefully you will enjoy the card. First, I want to mention that I'm going to be using some die cuts and um, one of my die cuts is missing so i'm having to use these three but it it uh, works out just fine uh the, the big one is basically two and a half inch, or two and three fourths inches the next one is two and a half inches, give or take. And this one is approximately two inches. So uh, if you have some die cuts or some punches that will make circles, um, this, you need them graduated. Um, and it, it doesn't have to be this exact size, but you don't want it too terribly much bigger or it won't fit on your card. So I have cut a couple of pieces of cardstock and I'll make my circles in a minute. Now I'm gonna start with my basic card and I'm not gonna put a mat. I'm just gonna put a piece of cardstock. I was looking for some paper like this and I didn't have anything. So I decided I'd go ahead and use the cardstock and make the card itself a little heavier. Okay, to reveal something about myself. Uh, my name is Vicki Romaine. Romaine like lettuce. I live in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I have lived there, oh, I don't know how many years. A pretty good, pretty long time. Um, I now live in the same city but I live with my youngest daughter. <clears throat> and uh, from time to time, if you notice, I get hoarse or my voice sounds very rough. And when you get old, that's what happens. And I guess everybody wants to know how old I am. Well, I became 85 last week. Uh, it doesn't seem that long, but that's what it is, 85. My husband is 88, and his birthday is in November. So for right now, there's only two years difference. Uh, I have, uh, I had four daughters. One was killed in an automobile accident. She was helping me put some staff, stuff together for a craft show and she stepped out into the traffic and was killed. And that happened many, many years ago. Uh, so I now have three daughters. The one I live with is the youngest. Uh, I have another one <clears throat> who lives in town about a mile away. And I have my third one lives um, in a new nearby city, so everybody's close now. Uh, I have um, three grandsons. Excuse me. Yeah, three grandsons and three granddaughters, and it's <coughs> pretty much a story for now. Now let's see what we're doing here. We glued this on and this is the front of my card. And I'm going to kind of put that to a side. And I mentioned that I'd be cutting some circles. So that's what I'm going to do now. And if you notice, I'm making <coughs> the circles out of um, card stock that go together. That, in other words, if, they're in the same color family, but they're different shades. The darkest one, I 
I'm going to cut one time and I'm going to use, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to cut twice. One time with the large one. One time with the small one. And here is my big shot. And as you get old, this thing gets heavier and heavier. And I just set it on top of my, my glue. There we go. I use this jar for my glue so I can keep it upside down. Now the darker color. As I said, I make it the largest. And the smallest. And you'll have to excuse the background because we're still camping. And I hope you'll be able to see this all right because it's uh, the sun beginning to fade away here. And I don't have a whole lot of bright light. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with my lightest color. In other words, I'll make a large one and a small one. Let's see, what else can I say about myself? Uh, crafts. Oh, I used to do all sorts of crafts. Um, I used to love to cross stitch. Um, that was before my eyesight got so bad. I used to do embroidery. And then I did some machine embroidery also. Um, if you receive any of my cards, you'll notice that I really can't write. My handwriting is terrible. Uh, let's see what else. I enjoy going camping. We have a motor home. And so I can bring all sorts of goodies with me to work on. So I won't be bored. Okay, we did that same thing with the lighters. Now we're going to take the metal shade. Now this one, I'm only going to cut one. And these particular cutters have the stitching. I really wanted to do one without the stitching, but this is what I happen to have here. Um, my other guys, I must have left at home. But I brought enough. I brought two big boxes full. Now, let's get rid of the big shot. Okay, 
Now we've done that. Put, we'll put our scraps away because we won't need them. And we can put our die cuts over here to the side. Yeah, something else about myself. I, I had cancer about, oh, I guess it's been about seven years now. Uh, and now, I've, after that cancer, and I no longer have that, so far as I know, I now have skin cancer. And many times you'll see places on my hands and arms and all where my dermatologist will take and do a little surgery on it. So I have to just kind of ignore it and keep trucking it along. So now let's look at our card. It'll be this way. I'm going to turn it. Well, let's see. I think I can get it on there. Let me get my cutter right there. Okay, let's start with the darkest color. Now, I really should be measuring this, but I'm going to... eyeball it. And I have two halves. Let's see how close. Oh, pretty close. Okay, that's, a, that's the darkest. This is the lightest. Oh, that one is just a little difference. We won't worry about it. And this one, only have one of these. I'm gonna cut in half. Okay. And the last one, let's see. I've got one more. I'm going to cut this one in half. As I say, I really should be measuring, but I'm not. But I think the card will come out okay. So let's see what we have here. We have the large size out of the light. And we have the smallest size out of the light. We have the dark in the largest. We have the dark in the lightest. So these two are done the same. The middle of the shade, I've just cut one. Okay, now this is where the fun begins. I'm not going to work, well, I am going to work on my card. I have to know how wide to do it. I'm going to think I'm going to switch it this way. I think it will look better. I 
I'm going to put the light color card here. And I'm going to put, oops, the, the dark color card here. The medium. I put in this corner. medium and we'll put it here. Now let me close this up a little bit. I want this to the corner. I want this to the corner. And we're gonna have it overlapping like this. We'll put the light color here. I'm going to do it in the outside like that. And this one to the same, to the same side. Now what I'm going to do is kind of hold on to this. Both of, both of them point up, go into a point on the outer edge. Then we kind of slide this over like that. That's that's good. Let's see what 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 this one needs to move over a little bit. That way you see the metal one flows. And the two ends kind of have a, a place in it. Now, what I have to do is slide this down just a little bit, this up, and I have a piece of cardstock. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. I cut a piece, oh, approximately a fourth of an inch. And it's going to go like this. We push this up together. So that's, that's the, and this gets clipped. So that's, that is our design. Now let's put it together. First, I want to put this here, and this here, and then I'm going to take my scissors. Okay, now let's go back and do some gluing. I'm going to start with the bottom. Now, if you notice, this is going to be a very easy card. And by the way, you want to make, um, I just looked to make sure that um, 
the stitching is on the right side. Go with the next piece. This is the middle. Make it even on top. Always double check and make yeah, it's, 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 make sure your stitching is um, on top. Uh, if I had fan, then I had brought my uh, other circles. Uh, they this wouldn't have this stitching. It'd be just plain. Okay, that's that part. That's done. So let's see which way did I cut there. Okay, now I will start with the lightest color. Now there's one way it goes, dark, medium, light. This one's gonna go um, light, medium, dark, working in reverse.
now I have a punch here that's kind of this, the size I want. The problem with this one is uh, I need to stamp a word or something on it. And I don't have anything out here with me for the word, but I want, because I want to show you another card. Now, what do you think? I think it, it, it's kind of busy with the flowers behind it, but I think it turned out pretty neat. I want to move it over just a little bit. And you can see it on the flowers. And I can stamp a word here or a verse or whatever, and that would be my front of my card. Uh, and of course, I always leave the inside blank. Now, let's try another one, okay? Let's see. What else have I left out about myself? Um, I can't even think of anything. I said the things, oh, when I was in school, I belonged to a dance team and um, we kind of traveled from place to place. I really enjoyed it. I love to dance. Well, I'm going to break down and tell you about the, uh, my problems in my life. I'm in a chair, in a electric wheelchair and that's why sometimes it's hard for me to have everything with me, kind of like my word that I need to put it on my card because uh, it's hard to get and reach everything so I kind of depend on my husband for everything and I hate to call him all, uh, every few minutes so bear with me the fact that I'm not putting a um, sentiment on it. Now, let's see what we have here. And don't forget, see, you have some leftover pieces. That's, that'll start you on the next um, card. Now, let's see. I'm going to put the, like, colors over here. And this one, you know. Okay, here's, here's this card. And then I've got my green piece here. So this. Let's get the color out of the way a little bit. And the reason I'm in a chair is because my right leg just won't hold. I have arthritis really, really bad. And I wonder when I'm gonna stop working on my crafts because I go from time to time and have to get shots in my fingers because the pain is, is so bad in my hand. But anyway, that's nothing to really worry about. Okay, let's see what we have here. 
the sun is a little bit. Let's put the light color look down first. And these these are just like the other one. I'm just showing you a, another color scheme. Hoping you'll like maybe one or the other. Airplane that you hear remind me that we're going to Pensacola tomorrow and hopefully get in to see the Blue Angels practice. We went last week and um, there were too many people there, they wouldn't let us in. So we're going to try to get there earlier tomorrow. Now, what do you notice about this card? Well, it's got checks on it. And by checks, you can count. Well, guess who didn't count? It's closer this way than it is this way. So, I think I'm going to try to balance this. I'm going to put it up here with the stone. I think I've got to put something in this that will work. Yeah, maybe you just want to make the card balance. Yeah, we'll get rid of some of our goodies here. Put up a glue, which seems to be working fine today. Okay, one, one last thought. Now, if you notice, this is the very opposite 
of this one. This one has the dark on top, that one has the dark on bottom, so it doesn't matter. There we go. I hope you like him. And there's, I have another card that's similar to this that I want to do, but it's kind of time consuming too. You have to put your little pieces in the right place. Well, I told you a little bit about myself. And we did two cards, made two cards. And so, um, try them out. See if you enjoy putting the pieces together. In the meantime, have a great crafting day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Share my stuff if you'd like, of course. Um, share my videos. Um, I have that, I must say what every day I've had. This is 257, so that's enough to keep you busy for one evening. Talk to you later. Bye.